This film is about setting up the Whitesell and Ruscombe Parish allotments. This is a fairly unique project in the county in that allotments are wholly organic and have been set up on private land that is leased to the parish council. The parish council have then leased it to the plot holders. I was asked to just give a very brief history because it all dates back to 2006 when I first put my name down on the allotments list. I was, but almost nothing happened. Then, thankfully, I met Susan and Greg Dance, and then things started to move a little bit quicker. They actually managed to find six more people, which is the magic number to make the parish act. By the time it got to, I think it was about July 2007, was when we actually set up the working group to actually look at whether would allot allotments be possible here. And I can remember thinking, God, we've got to get a load more names. We've only got about six or seven names on this list. We've got to get a load more names. And somehow, I don't know, Susan and Greg seem to know everybody yeah. here, really. They've dra dragged them out from wherever you come from. Finish and, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. The pub, the star. <laughs> so, and then we had meetings. With, we, we, met, we talked to Archway, we talked to the National Trust about that. We talked to all sorts of different landowners. But it wasn't until we actually met Julia Curry that actually things then started to move. What? I know. I did. I did know. Actually, it's true. It's true. It's true. But Julia Curry actually expressed a really strong interest, which was wonderful. And it, but it took another 18 months until we actually managed to get all the 20 names, get the draft leases written, talk to the to the lawyers, get all the bits and paper sorted out. So it wasn't until January 2010 when we finally had the leases on the table and actually managed to sign them. And then March 2010 we were allowed to start work. I don't know if you remember those, the bulldozer or the big tractor coming in and clearing that. And then I don't know how many work parties there were. It was absolutely amazing. I mean, there seemed to be so many clearing the site. It was 20 foot high in brambles. I mean, it was extraordinary that. divided up the plots by putting names into a hat and pulling out the hat, pulling out the names out of a hat. And then it wasn't until, then it was a few more months and it was July, oh no, we actually started growing things then. I actually put a courgette plant in and I reckon <laughs> my courgettes were the first legally agreed things that are actually grown off this allotment. Actually, I think the courgettes were the first, I have to say. Uh, and then July came and we got the lottery grant, £2,150, £2,150, which also went towards that. We're getting a picture of that. Oh, sorry. Because <laughs> it just proves to the big lottery fund that we actually did put it on the gate and, and spent their money on booze and food. <laughs> And then there were more work parties and they seemed to go through all the way through the winter doing all sorts of things. The, the water, Pete, was just amazing. Where's Pete? Engineer Pete. Engineer Pete, there he's hiding behind there. Just amazing. Managing to get this low-cost, simple solution with the, with the brook, getting the water in here. It's a few little teething problems, but we're there. But God, the mud when I went to see them. I, I was more supervising and watching. We did the, the native hedge that's gone on, the banging in the posts, and I have to say, Ian was very impressive. I have got him on video, actually, you know, with that thing, putting that down. That was very <laughs> impressive. 
The Parish Council is thrilled at the development of the allotments, actually, because although it took a long time to start, the changes in the developments and what's been happening here is phenomenal. It's, nobody would have believed it if you looked at it two years ago that it would look like this now. So I am very, very pleased, and the Parish Council is very, very pleased. Mm. Well, like Rebecca, I'm absolutely delighted to um, be involved with this because this was a really useless piece of scrubland, and to have seen through the hard work that we've done in the group and so on, to get to this stage and to watch it actually being transformed into what it is, a sheer miracle, I think. And it's greatly gratifying to see the community aspect. Wonderful. Congratulations to everybody. A quote from Hugh here, he says, Allotments are absolutely vital for social development, health and well-being. It's about more than just putting two veg on the family table, they're about community spirit. And I couldn't agree more. Community spirit. I have loved it. And I have loved meeting everyone here as well. It's been absolutely great meeting so many wonderful people and put this coming together. So a huge big thank you for the parish for, for going with us. A huge big thank you for Julia for making it happen. Huge big thank you to Greg and Sue for especially for making it happen. But also thanks to Ian and all the others who have been putting in these work parties. Absolutely fantastic. So, <laughs> I'm going to do that yet. I haven't this first. So you've got a, you've got a, yes, now look, this is, um, keep it close to the Two, one, go. I think it's fantastic and well it's all come together and everybody has worked as a local group to produce all this fantastic food and a fantastic site. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, it's going to be authentic. Oh, cold. Oh, cold. Oh, no. Oh, no. Julia, this is our, this is our now. Are we going to actually um, do it properly and tease it out and all that? There we go. Beautifully teased, I have to say. Beautifully teased. Yeah. What do you do with all this bit here? <laughs> To me, the, the allotments are about more than just growing food. They're about more than just converting what really was wasteland into uh, food growing. They're also about the societal rebuilding. It's where you build together societies again, you get people to work together and cooperate. And to me, that's really good. I'm very chuffed that it's happened here and wish it could be replicated elsewhere. We've had a very successful grand opening, um, bring, bring and share, and there's lots of food left over still. Just sorting out the compost, <laughs> so everything is compostable or recycling, and it's been a really lovely afternoon evening, and it's the first time I think we've all been together, all the plot holders, plot holders. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Another glass of wine, sir. Another glass of wine. Tongue twisting effect on me. <laughs>